Welcome back. This morning, the woman at the center of Jonathan Major's assault trial is expected to testify for a second day. Grace Jabari told the court yesterday the Marvel actor had a violent temper. She claimed he emotionally abused her before things allegedly turned physical back in March. Audrika Duncan has more. Grace Jabari left court Tuesday after a full day of emotional testimony. On the witness stand, Jabari broke down in tears several times, saying that actor Jonathan Majors controlled her and emotionally abused her throughout their two-year relationship. Jabari said she and Majors met on the London set of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania in 2021. She testified that just a few months into their relationship, Majors struggled to control his, quote, violent temper and claimed he would throw objects at walls. What the prosecution is trying to do here is lay out what she claims happened and also this wasn't just a one-off where he lost his temper, that there was a pattern of behavior. Last March, while sitting in the back of an SUV in New York City, Jabari testified she saw a romantic text from another woman on Major's phone. She told jurors that she grabbed the phone out of Major's hand and turned away from him, saying, quote, the weight of him on top of me, trying to pry the phone from my fingers. She testified when he was unsuccessful, he pulled my arm behind my back. Using an open hand to demonstrate in court, Jabari said she then felt a hard blow across her head. But Major's attorney claims that he was the victim in the altercation, saying he was the one who walked away bloodied, running away from Jabari after the alleged incident as she chased after him. And Jerika Duncan, who has been in the courtroom during these proceedings, joins us now from outside the courthouse. Jerika, as always, I'm curious of your observations from being inside. Talk to us about the evidence shown and heard in court and, and your impressions of how the jury may be reading it all. So jurors were given pictures, they were shown video and also audio that they heard of Jonathan Majors that Jabari recorded. So keep in mind these two started dating in August of 2021 and about a year later in July of 2022, Jabari talked about an argument they got into and that Jonathan Majors, according to her, was throwing objects, candles. Uh, the picture she took shows like a dent in the wall. They showed that to jurors. The prosecution said, why did you take the picture? And she said, quote, I know that I kept forgiving him, but I wanted to keep memory. So this begins uh, the start, if you will, of her sort of keeping evidence that perhaps she thought maybe she would need to use at some point, or as she stated here, uh, wanted to keep memory of it for herself. Then we heard audio in September of 2022. So a couple of months later, when Majors accused her of being an alcoholic. Uh, jurors heard the context of what we spoke about yesterday when uh, the prosecution mentioned in opening statements that there was going to be a comparison to Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott King. Well, what we heard is Jonathan Majors calling his then girlfriend an alcoholic, upset that she had brought someone to their home at the time that he was making a movie, a temporary place that they lived in London. Uh, and he said that she needed to be on a level of a Michelle Obama or Coretta Scott King, to paraphrase. He also talked about that what he was doing and essentially the path that he was on uh, would affect the culture and would affect the world. He said, quote, I am a great man and I need a great woman. But that again was a recording that the jurors heard that Jabari recorded again of an argument that they had. Uh, and then there's the video. That's probably what's most important here because a lot of what the jurors heard was background about their relationship, but it's what happened on March 25th uh, that jurors are really gonna be asked to rule on when it's all said and done. So we saw video of Jonathan Majors uh, appearing to sort of shove Jabari into an SUV and then he runs away. This, according to the prosecution, happened after the alleged incident inside the car. Now, there was no video of what happened inside the car, so we've only heard testimony from Jabari about what she said happened. But there is multiple videos showing her going down different streets, chasing after Majors, Majors trying to get away. Then we saw another video clip of him walking sort of back from that path. And at that point, she had started talking uh, to people about what she just um, dealt with. And remember, all of this started in the car because she said she saw a romantic text, as you heard in the piece, and then grabbed his phone, and then he tried to pry it from her. 
So we're still hearing testimony from Jabari because the prosecution was not done questioning her, but we wrapped up yesterday around 4.30. Uh, court will start again around 10, and then, of course, the defense will be able to cross-examine um, Jabari. But what I really think is going to be most telling and interesting is hearing from the driver who was in the car. Uh, the defense had said that she was described in a previous interview, Jabari was described in a previous interview as a psycho girl. Uh, mm -hmm. But it'll be interesting to hear if that is the same testimony that is given in court from the driver who was in the car when the alleged attack happened. All right, certainly sounds like some volatile moments uh, in that relationship. Jerika, thank you.